Hello Indie Game fans! Before we get into the monthly recap videos, here are some indie game new releases that I missed for April 2019. Bomb Chicken finally makes the jump to Steam after a release on Switch last year, and is an action puzzle game where you are a chicken that lays bombs. Great pixel art, puzzles and frantic combat. Drift Force is a fast, endless racer where you have to maneuver and avoid procedurally generated obstacles, much like Race the Sun. Pagan Online is a hack and slash RPG, and if you are like me and are always interested in checking out Diablo style games, check this one out. Paradox Vector is a first-person shooter that uses the graphical style of games in the 80s which makes it stand out. This also has MC Escher style impossible geometry in the levels. Swords and Sandals is an RPG series that was widely available on browsers and flash game sites in the early days of the internet, and this classic collection brings five of these to Steam. Greet nostalgia here.
Butterscotch Shenanigans, developers of the excellent crafting RPG Crashlands, returns with Level Hit, a Mario Maker style build your own platformer. I managed to play some of this and it is pretty good. Become a powerful mage, destined to reshape the ever-changing planet of Driftland. Develop your settlement into a worldwide empire. Exploit valuable resources. Lead an army of heroes endowed with free will. Exterminate your foes. Dominate the battlefields of Driftland and crush other mages. Explore the uncharted world. Witness betrayal and hope hidden in the intertwining stories of all the warring races. Land, the Magic Revival is a kingdom management RTS that self-describes as a real-time 4X game, focusing more on the macro aspect rather than commanding individual troops. Visually stunning and looks pretty alright. Now, the fate of Driftland lies in your hands. Prologue for a Vacant Kingdom is a free bullet hell shooter crossed with a story driven RPG. to strangers speaks to my own anxiety in having to, well, talk to strangers, survive door-to-door -door conversations while trying to sell products and there's something strange going on in the neighbourhood. Knights of Tartarus launched out of Early Access and is a retro-inspired JRPG. I love the genre and this one is particularly faithful to the look, although there are more modern elements like crafting.
Rekindling is a settlement building simulation game that occurs after the equivalent of a zombie apocalypse. The base building looks decent and is perhaps something to check out if you are sick of RimWorld. Hardware Engineers is a simulation game where you have to manage an IT business. Little bits of that game dev tycoon vibe. Dragons is a pixel art beat'em up with that distinct retro flavor and 8 playable characters each having a unique story through the campaign with their tales ultimately being intertwined. Also, 8 player co-op.
Spine World is a real-time MMORPG with some pretty visuals. You guys know me, a huge sucker for pixel art, so this caught my eye, and best of all, free to play as well. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.